hey everybody, this is Ben and welcome back to the Talents Principle. I just took like a step and went through the portal and then L starts talking to me. He's telling me the land of tombs is yours now. Okay, so I tried, I was trying just to see if I could bring that crowbar back through with me. Chaos is oh. that which existed before time. When the words of a story lose their meaning, when actions cease to have purpose. Know that only faith okay. can what? protect you from this peril. Here, in the Garden of Worlds. Right, faith. Faith, the, the super secret keyword. Unless that dude was just messing with me that absolutely whole time. Alright, so I got the crowbar again. I'm gonna try once more. Bringing it with me. Ah, no. So, okay, so there's wood in here. Does that mean there's a crowbar hidden somewhere in this, like, the overworld? Anyway, uh, I think I said, welcome back to the Talos Principle. We have finished up Temple B. Feeling good. Feeling like, oh, like what? Maybe I'm halfway through? It's hard to say. But let's get out of here. Man, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm there in Egypt. It's so hot in my office right now. <laughs> I need to need to get the fan going. Open a window. But you know, those are two things that don't really go well with recording. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did I look around in here? Any like QR codes? This is oddly industrial. Still, it, it just unsettles me. Oh, what? That's this tiny door. What about this tiny door? Oh, there's a QR code. I have seen the truth. Only Elohim can save us from eternal oblivion. Elimas. All right. Guess I'll take your word for it. No beeper in. Um, I don't quite like the red one at the top there the red sigils on the, my the top of my bar. I don't quite have all of them for Floor three yet So that's all checked off All right, and now now in my head. I'm thinking like okay, so there's a crowbar laying around somewhere. Oh there's Some paint I'm sure. Let's paint a message. Sometimes you have to find the courage to break down the barriers with an axe. Oh, maybe there's an axe I can get. Wow, how can I just go to the edge of this building or further? Oh no, there we go. Okay, this works just like the other worlds. Okay, let's let's hunt around. Oh, this is just a gorgeous landscape. God, this is this game is is pretty pretty dang beautiful. Okay, I'm not seeing. Oh, QR. I wish I could reach those islands in the distance, but it seems to be impossible. Yeah, I know it. I agree. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. Okay, this is the Temple C, I believe. Oh, check that. Out. Oh, yeah, man. Who would ever look for a computer terminal on an ice sheet? <laughs> and it's like a gold one, too. Oh, my gosh. Questioning doubt conference. Partition.email and him.email. All right. Questioning doubt. <clears throat> Keynote speech by N. Sarabe. Questioning doubt. They say, doubt everything, but I disagree. Doubt is useful in small amounts, but too much of it leads to apathy and confusion. No, don't doubt everything. Question everything. That's the real trick. Doubt is just a lack of certainty. If you doubt everything, you'll doubt evolution, science, faith, morality, even reality itself. And you'll end up with nothing, because doubt doesn't give anything back. But questions have answers, you see. If you question everything, you'll find that a lot of what we believe is untrue. 
but you might also discover that some things are true. You might discover what your own beliefs are, and then you'll question them again and again, eliminating flaws, discovering lies, until you get as close to the truth as you can. Questioning is a lifelong process. That's precisely what makes it so unlike doubt. Questioning engages with reality, interrogating all it sees. Questioning leads to a constant assault on the intellectual status quo, where doubt is far more likely to lead to resigned acceptance. After all, when the possibility of truth is doubtful, excuse the pun, why not simply play along with the most convenient lie? Questioning is progress, but doubt is stagnation. Man, that is... Oh, that, that, that hit me hard, I have to say right now. That, that spoke to me, man. That's, <laughs> that is so... Such a process as, as to like... Almost exactly like how I've come to, to view my outlook and, and view of the world. That that is just so, so similar to like a process I feel like I've gone through throughout life. To, to learn to learning that getting to the point of learning that kind of thing about questioning everything finding answers it's that that was powerful go back and listen to that again <laughs> oh, pardon me there I need a little drink and let's look at partition not email from Rob McLean to Ian mailing list archive project subject L partition Hi folks, this is just to let you know that, for reasons of a convenience and security, we've partitioned L into two separate systems. The Talos team will be working on L0, while the Archive team will be working on L1. You might also notice an L2 partition, but don't worry about that, it's just the operating system doing its thing. Cheers, Rob. What? What do you mean don't worry about that? That's weird. Okay, him.email. From Bob Rakowski to Alexandra Drennan, subject him. Hi, Alex. I agree that we need something that'll keep all the modules working together. Evaluate a final test. Eva evaluate and parentheses a final test? I don't know. And I think I have the perfect solution. It's called the Holistic Integration Manager, a fancy name for something a lot like a dungeon master in pen and paper RPGs. We created it to help run some MMOs back in the day. We needed something that would be able to unite procedurally generated and user submitted content into a coherent, coherent whole so the game wouldn't become too chaotic and inconsistent. It's a genuine AI, somewhat limited in its ability to grow, but capable of parsing and understanding text, images, audio, even video. It takes all the information it can find, interprets it, and then builds and maintains a world based on that. It's not perfect, but we don't have a lot of time, and it would be easy to adapt the code for our purposes. In fact, come to think of it, some of it is actually based on routines that you suggested in th that paper on... something. Alright. Um, limited in its ability to grow, but... Man, it can capable of parsing and understanding text, images, audio, even video. That sounds practically friggin' sentient. Jeez. I mean... It's not, I mean, but I don't, I, don't, I don't know how you can claim, it could claim that it has an understanding of something without being very near ascensions. Okay, let's look at all these piles of rocks. What's over this way? Oh, we're like in the shadow of the tower. Check that out. Oh my god, that's amazing. The shadow just goes forever. Okay, I th I'm thinking it's gonna find a crowbar it's gonna have to be somewhere back here or an axe I gotta remember I'm look, my, looking for a crowbar or an axe I'm thinking this building is probably gonna be it probably going to be the key oh oh close or over here maybe this is kind of an empty expanse of white yeah, maybe not. All right, let's go look inside there. I think I peeked inside here real early on, but I had no idea I could be looking for something as small as like an ax or a crowbar. Oh, there's a star in there too. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Dang it. Hmm. Well. Okay, I guess... I guess that's that. Let's... Uh, yeah, like I said, I can't make it to the next floor of the tower yet. Um, just looking at all these rock formations. So let's go check out the next temple. See if I can't unlock my, what I seem to feel is like the strongman abilities. <laughs> See, oh, look at that. <gasps> Oh, they're all red. Oh my gosh, they're all red. All the sigils are red. Those all unlock floors of the tower. Ooh, that's exciting. All right, I'm gonna do Tetris real quick. Uh, and there. Like so, or not like so. Okay, uh, how about that? And nope, and yep, yeah, there we go. Great, we're in. That looks like a vending machine. Okay, terminal time. It's terminal time. I guess the ones in this overworld are all uh, this kind of golden beigey color from the light. Okay, heaven and hell. Let's find a heaven. The mind is its own place, and in itself can make a, he a heaven of hell, a hell of heaven. What, wait, wait hold on, a hell, of, a hell of heaven. What matter where, if I be still the same, and what I should be, all but less than he, whom thunder hath made greater. Here at least we shall be free. The Almighty hath not built here for his envy, will not drive us hence. Here we may reign secure, and in my choice, to reign is worth ambition, though in hell, better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. Okay, that's, I feel like I butchered reading that. Sorry. <laughs> Hell.txt. Blake William. Oh, from 1793. The ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I have heard from hell. For the cherub with his flaming sword is hereby commanded to leave his guard at Tree of Life, and when he does, the whole creation will be consumed, and appear infinite and holy, whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by an improvement of sensual enjoyment. Wait, what? <laughs> But first, the notion that man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. This I shall do by printing in the infernal method, by corrosives, which in hell are sal salutary and medicinal, melting apparent surfaces away, and displaying the infinite which was hid. Collection, the marriage of heaven and hell. Yikes. That was almost scary. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. So I think... Yeah, let's let's head on. Do a quick quick once around here. Check out the vending machine. Any any loose change? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, we got a QR over here. I wonder what's down there. I don't know who to trust. I'm afraid to go on. Didymus. Didymus twenty two. Oh, more people. The last land before I have conquered this world, Samurite. I assume you're counting the secret islands? Always right. I hate you, Samurite. <laughs> counting the secret islands. So the way there's like a back and forth between the same names, whoa, wow, a bunch of them, makes it look like some of these must be running concurrently. <clears throat> Excuse me. More bad replicas of forgotten worlds. Can't wait. Dog. Yo, dog. There must be something deeper, something more profound than what I am, something greater. I must tear at it, shred this fake world to find the truth, to find myself. The weird symbols. 
the bad symbol 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 man took the words right out of my mouth skid row we've made it this far we only need the red ones to climb the tower and these are the last of them sheep the reds are a lie green is the color of eternal life holier than thou <laughs> the reds are a lie nice nothing else in here so let's go down going down to see seeing what's around you have come far Ooh. my child hello l succeeding where so many before you failed really i mean you i have probably through a land of ruins and a land of death now the land of faith lies before you oh really the land of and faith and know that as you have shown faith in me Whoa. So do I have faith in you. Okay, achievement unlocked, the land of faith. Wow. Oh, it's it's the the title music. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, what's this? A closed door. How surprising. All right, so where do I unlock the the strongman thing? Two. Three, four. Oh, geez, this place is big. Five. Here. Six. What is that? Oh! <gasps> It's the axe. Can I? No. Okay. I'm like, can I chop that open? Here you go. I'm chopping that. Nice. Okay. So this one I have in the overworld. Okay. Great. Okay. Whatever this is, it's like lifting something, clearly. Okay, so let's do that and that and that and no. Oh, wow, I got a big square one to fit in there, huh? Mm hmm. Throw him back. Do that. And yeah. Okay, what if I do that and that? Now a close. Ah. All right, we got to start over. Got oh, here. Right. Thank you. Let's try that. That. Okay. Not quite. Uh Ah. Uh. This is a hard one. Wow. Throwing in the square and this one really upped it. I must say. <laughs> Let's just keep shuffling stuff around, eh? Why the heck not? There we go. That works. <laughs> just shuffle it all around. You have now unlocked. Overhead press, as far as I can tell. You have come far in your oh, journey. Oh, yes, I know. And learned much. You have served our cause with the truest faith. Therefore, I name you blessed and beloved. Wow. Wield these, the instruments of our power, to fulfill your purpose and achieve eternal life. Whoa, what's that? 
First to ascend, Hubus. Everyone ascends or gets reset eventually. What's the big deal? Life eternal in the designer's paradise? Hmm. That's pretty cool looking. Can I? No, I can't go in yet. All right. All right. I... Ah, I, I got to climb the tower before I go through that. That's for sure. That to me sounded like something pretty, pretty final stuff. Um, but also, I kind of want to take this axe and go chop down. I think that's what I will do next episode. I'm going to take this axe up to the other temples and chop open everything I can find. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you're still enjoying Talos Principle. I know I didn't do any puzzles this one, but I was exploring and just learning stuff. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.